Good evening from Manhattan, Kansas, as Eastern Kentucky opens the 102nd year of college football, 99th season, and it'll be against an FBS big boy in Kansas State tonight. First ever game for the Colonels against a member of the Big 12. Third down and nine, hot snap, and Klein goes back and falls, and the ball loses it, and Eastern Kentucky is up with it at the 24-yard line. And up with the football is Sean Schubert, I believe. The snapper will be Adams. The holder will be Barry, the punter. And this is Luke Prey, the only kid from Kansas on the EKU roster from 42 in his home state. Plenty of leg, and Luke Prey misses it wide to the right. Oh, it would have been a storybook beginning. Third down nine, straight drop of Klein. And the pocket collapses, and a sack by Schubert, who's had a big day early. Third down and one now from the Colonel 20 for K-State. Here is Klein, the quarterback. He did not get there. He danced in the backfield, looking for a hole, and the Eastern defensive front. And the linebacker, Tyson Patrick, shut the door. Very high kick, hanging kick, not that long. And a ball fumbled, and the Colonels are on it again. Meyer Nolan. The fumble by Hartman, and Meyer Nolan's got it. McLean, wide receiver screen, Gord, first down by a foot, and he breaks a tackle, another 20, 15, down to the 11-yard line. Gord wide left, Bailey wide right, third and five from the Cat six. McLean looping it into the end zone for Gord, picked off. Just looped it up, Gord was locked up, turning and picking it off as Nigel Malone. Third down, 13, KSU in Kirtle territory at the 46. Scoreless in the first half. Back to pass goes Klein. He throws long downfield, double covered, pick off Brooklyn Fox. Stepped in front, played the receiver, made the pick intended for Chris Harper. Third and 12, on three yard line. That old mean purple end zone. They'll be great eye. Play action, McLean throwing the long bomb down the field, intended for Gore. He caught it. Can you believe it? Wow. Circus catch. Now Williams hunting, pecking, fighting a hole to the 50. Breaks a tackle. He breaks another and another down to the KSU 42. Snap to Barry. He needs to get a good one off, and he has hit another short one. But a position punt, hitting at the 20 and taking a big roll. He did that on purpose, Greg. He hit it short. It hit it to 20. Nobody could get to it, and it rolls 46 yards out of bounds at the five. Five-man front as they put a guy on the edge at the end in Brown. Here comes the pressure by Patrick. Sack! Tyson Patrick! Take down, Patrick! Scoreless first half. All zeros on the scoreboard on both the clock and the score columns. Handoff, Williams, big hole. He's over the 20, the 25 to the 27, the biggest pickup of the day. Up in the pocket, throwing over the middle, wide open. Caldwell caught 30. Make one man miss, not the second. Back pedals just inside his own 30. Here's the snap, no pressure to bury. Away it goes in a long, low lining. Boomer Lockett fields at his three, but with 15-yard cushion, they block in the back. Lockett has gone up to the 30, but this one's coming back, and here comes another play. Here's a pass over the middle, caught by Lockett to midfield. He fumbles the football. It's still on the turf, and Eastern Kentucky may be on it. Third and nine for the true freshman McLean of the scoreless game. Wing right and Jet Williams. Play action McLean. Good protection. Throw over the middle. Caught first down. Cam Bailey. Move the chains. Here is Colin Klein. Rolling right, handing off to Bryce Brown, and he fumbles, picked up McClellan, and he's to the goal line, and out at the one-yard line. It is just inches away. Curtis have also brought Henry in, a stack eye. McClain, keeper, touchdown! Colonels! <laughs> the true freshman playing for the injured. T.J. Pryor, and it's 6-0 Eastern Kentucky. Balance formation, a wide out, and Klein is tripped for a loss by Ichiro Vance. Last year we knew him as Ichiro Chiba. 7-0 Eastern Kentucky over Kansas State as we go to the fourth quarter. 
But Kansas State trying to wipe out the goose eggs here on the 37-yard Cantilly field goal from the left hash. Kick is on its way, and it's got plenty of leg, and it is no good. Third down, 12 Colonels trying to protect a 7-0 lead. Operating from their own 18-yard line. 50,000-plus sellout. McLean rolls right, set, in trouble. They're after him. Down he goes! This will be a 35-yard field goal. He minced moments ago from 37. Kick has plenty of leg, and it is up. And good! Hey! Kansas State has scored, finally! And the crowd is a little happy about it. Minute 46 to go. Klein, straight drop. Looking right, double pumping, throwing, got a man out there, touchdown. Chris Harper beat Meyer Nolan. Nobody back in safety to help. Now let's take a look. Dean, your sweet play, and, and great job here by Patch McClellan. Yeah, Patch actually stripped him and, and scooped and scored, and that's something that the defensive coaches uh, work every week, and, and the, the only way it works is if the kids believe in it, trust it, and, and, and the drill work and practice, and uh, did a great job right there on a scoop and score. And here is the big delivery, the touchdown by your true freshman. Yeah, really good blocking up front and then a good decision right there uh, for Jared not to pitch it but to keep it on the uh, option play. Uh, just really happy for him. I thought he did a great job as a true freshman in that environment and uh, came up big for us right there. So here's the stat sheet from the Kansas State game and if anything jumps out, obviously you win the turnover battle, but third down conversions and also the time of possession uh, just kind of wore the defense down at the very end, I thought. Yeah, I mean, when you, you win five uh, turnovers to two, you should win the ball game, especially if you did okay in the, in the kicking game. And, you know, the, the critical stat, as you say, there's time of possession. You know, we were three and out, four and out, you know. Uh, I, don't think, I think our longest drive of the day was maybe seven plays, but, but, uh, and it wasn't very much time. Maybe three minutes was the longest drive we had, so that did wear on the defense, uh, you know, in the end. So let's update the injury situation. Of course, the good news is T.J. Pryor, the quarterback, uh, with that right pinky injury available. Nathan Watts had a concussion uh, in the Kansas State game. Uh, questionable. Uh, do you expect him at all to, tonight? That, that you know that'll be the one that probably doesn't play for us. Uh, you know, Robert Knowles, he he practiced all week and and did a, you know look like he's going to be okay. And, and T.J. practiced all week, so I think both those guys will be good. Watts would be the big question mark for tonight. And uh, also some bang ups from the game. Uh, should go. Justin Bell probable with a light left knee sprain. Jeremy Caldwell told me he didn't practice for a, a couple of days this week. And then Justin Meredith, uh, one of those tough offensive linemen, should expect him with that bruise uh, probable tonight. Yeah, Meredith and Bell pushed through it, you know, all week and and, and looked good towards the end of the week. And uh, Jeremy uh, missed Monday, Tuesday, couldn't go, but but went Wednesday and Thursday, and and he should be okay for tonight also. All right, we'll continue after this right here on the Dean Hood Show. Portions of the Dean Hood Show are brought to you by East Side Baptist Church, Sonny's Barbecue, Richmond Athletic Club, Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield, Gillum Sports Lounge, UK Healthcare, Snappy Tomato Pizza, Personal Touch Cleaners, Gridiron Barbecue, Lowe's Sporting Goods, Regal Beagle, Bella's Cupcakes, and Brian's Lawn Care.